I'm going to show you how to get this everyday look of mine in just a few easy steps. First, on a clean and toned face, I apply my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer in the Ultra Light Formula. It is always nice to use a primer first if you want to have a flawless finish in the end. I've learned that primer also helps to keep your foundation on longer. I like to blend it all over my face until my face is covered evenly. You should let your face dry for about 30 seconds after applying the primer. Now we can apply our foundation. I'm using Rimmel London Stay Matte Plus Skin Complex Clarifying Matte Foundation on a new and clean triangle applicator sponge. I like to spread the foundation on all four key points on my face, my cheeks, chin, and forehead. Then I spread it on my forehead and pat it around my face. I do this to help make sure I am covered and blemishes are unnoticeable. Then with a clean applicator sponge, I blend it evenly around my face until it is flawlessly covered. I like to use a clean applicator sponge after applying my foundation because you want to get rid of all that extra foundation that you don't need on your face. See? It's all clean. Now I can add my blush. The blush I am using is Hard Candy's Blush Crushed Baked Blush in Honeymoon. The reason I am smiling is so I can see the apples of my cheeks, and that's where I'll apply my blush. I also like getting my nose, because that's where I blush naturally. Now I can add my finishing powder. I am using NYC Smooth Mineral Loose Finishing Powder. It is good to use a finishing powder, because it helps lock in the foundation and give you a nice airbrushed finish. Now we can do our eyes. First I am going to use Hard Candy's eyeshadow primer. I spread it evenly all over my eyelids, then I let it dry for about 30 seconds. I love adding eyeshadow primer because it helps the color of my eyeshadow to show more vividly. It also helps to keep your eyeshadow on longer. And also, when you apply your eyeshadow, primer helps to make it go on smoothly. After primer is dry, I add Hard Candies in the Shadows eyeshadow and splend it. I'm using the middle purple color, and I apply it all over my lid. I am using an eyeshadow brush because it helps the eyeshadow to be applied more vividly in color and also you can blend more easily with an eyeshadow brush than you can with a sponge applicator. But don't get me wrong, sponge applicators are great when you add wet eyeliner or eyeshadow. Now I am going to use the grayish purple color just above the purple that we used earlier.
I'm applying it to the corner of the bottom lid and I also work it into the crease. I do this to give my eyes a nice definition in color. I also do this because it helps create a shadowy type definition also. And of course, repeat the same thing on the other eyelid. Now I am using my finger to blend it in. We're almost there. Now it's time for the eyeliner. The eyeliner I am using is CoverGirl's Perfect Point Eyeliner Pencil in Black Onyx. When I apply my eyeliner, I like to start on the inside corner of my eye and draw a thin line from end to end. Then I draw a line almost directly under the end of my brow, bringing it into a curve, a little more than halfway past the middle of my bottom lid. I do this to create a pinup type look. Then I draw it in, finishing the whole look. The mascara I am using is Hard Candy's Curl Up and Die Eyelash Curling Mascara in Venus. I really love this purple color. I like to add about three coats. I do this to make sure that the purple shows and each lash is completely covered. You do not have to use purple for this look. You can use any eye color you want. Pretty. Now on to the lips. The lipstick I am using is actually Hard Candy's Lip Tattoo Lip Stain in Poppy. This color is a very pretty shimmery red. I like to apply the lip stain until I achieve the color intensity I want. Then I dry my lips and apply the gloss. The gloss is what really makes the color pop. Perfect. There you go. And that completes my everyday look. I hope you enjoyed this video.